welcome to our studio, Jay Moore. Yes. Yes. You're feeling it. Are you feeling how you want to hear more? You should have called that segment Nerds! <laughs> Are you a nerd? Uh, no. I kick nerds in the face. <laughs> I just knock. Oh. Yeah, and I'm, I believe in bullying. You're proud of it. Yeah, I don't care. Nerds. Bring it, nerds. You better bring a lot of them because jocks can fight. Nerds can't. I'm one of the cool guys. Me and, uh, you know, Kanicki. And I got Ted McKinley waiting for me in my car. So let's wrap it up, Leather Tuscadero. No, I'm completely wow. kidding. Uh, no, I'm, I, I don't know. Am I a nerd? I think, well, you, you have a podcast. I'm a spaz. You're, oh, you're a spaz. Me too. Yeah, I'm definitely a spaz. I hosted World of Warcraft. I hosted BlizzCon no for five, six times. So, I mean, that gives you some legitimacy. That I've held the sword of Swarthmore. Or Frostmore. Frostmore. Oh, there goes Twitter. Oh, Everyone's tweeting out now. A dollar makes me holla. <laughs> All right, so you have more stories, which is your big uh, podcast. Yeah. Big. Reaching the 100th episode. Yeah, we're approaching the 100th episode, and we're trying to figure out who the perfect guest would be, and then I realized, why don't we just skip through until we hit, like, a milestone, milestone. That's a big milestone. It can be if you make it one, and then you could proceed to and just sort just, of go about your business. Yeah, it just continues. You know? So, uh... I think we're just gonna go. I just did Rufus Wainwright last night. I love him. That was a big catch. Is it uh, hard to book people? Like, do you book yourself? Uh, well, comics want to come on to promote stuff yeah. a lot because we're we can't get on the Tonight Show or Letterman, so we're like, I'll do Adam Carolla podcast. It'd be amazing. Yeah, and it reaches probably just as many people in the long run. Uh, so, but every once in a while, you got to land those whoppers. You know, your Charlie Sheen's and your Rufus Wainwright. Rufus Wainwright was the hardest one. That was a lot of hoops to jump through. Why was that important for you to start a podcast? Uh, I wanted more people to come see me do stand-up comedy, so I figured that'd be a good way to build an audience, because people would come to see me because they heard me tell stories with my friends. It yeah. was completely self-centered. There was no <laughs> altruistic, like, I could reach people, man. Connect. I wanted to get paid. I wanted to get paid, and I wanted to tell everybody about the greatness of Stamps.com and make money for saying that. Yeah, and you have said that it's one of your, your, the favorite things that you've done in your career. It is, uh... It is probably my favorite thing because yeah. we, we really get great stories. My, it's my friends. And I never would have thought like in the age of you know, post-Kardashian world that people's appointment listening and viewing would be me and my friends talking in my garage. Like really talking. Like, like I always say to people, it's if you and your friends like smoked a joint and drove to Vegas and like that deep, deep conversation you get as you pass through Zizix. Like it's that, yeah. it's that without the, it's that without the joint. It's just we just break it down. I've had my priest on, uh, like a Charlie Sheen, Jay Leno. I've had you know, I'm like we just we, mo Ryan Sickler, great Patrice O'Neill's last interview. Somehow, amazingly and sadly and horribly was with me. Like what? <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm Aww. sure he would have liked to go out with like Larry King or something or with Shira. Yeah. yeah. At least. Oh, thank you. I but instead, that. it's you know just me and him in a hotel room. So that's your favorite part of your career. What's been the worst part of your career? Worst, I don't know if there was a, you know what, in the movie Go, we had to reshoot the, sh the rain scene where we find Sarah Polly's dead body because uh -huh. Doug, uh, the director kept, the rain kept getting in his camera. So we were like done with the movie for eight months and we had to go back and reshoot it. So like, you put on all this weight, you got a gut, like it doesn't match. If you watch the movie Go, like me and Scott Wolf are like, just pick her up, just get her to the car, man. And then you see real skinny me go, it's a Miata! So reshooting that uh, was kind of stinky, but there really was no, there's no downside. If you're in show business, you're, you're doing it. You're winning. It's great. All right, another question from the chat room. Yeah, here's the one. Uh, you seem to play a lot of mean or unlikable characters. Do you like that uh, than playing nice guys? Because you seem kind of nice right now. Oh, thank you. Kind of. After I screamed nerd a thousand Maybe. times, and then I got like fired up and manic, and I had to dial it back. <laughs> I was like going on a, I beat up nerds gag, and I'm like, what are you then doing? Then it got awkward. Uh, I think because my first role was Jerry Maguire, Bob Sugar was so diabolical that made it easy to do because it was successful. But then uh, I like playing nice guys a lot and I, I think there's a lot more acting to do and you get to do a lot more when you play a nice guy because you get to open yourself up when you're, and be sweet and kind and there's a lot of different ways to express love and being mean I think is sort of just kind of one way. You're, you either yell or not.